let me know if you guys are not able to see my screen i'll just share the screen right away one second uh is the screen visible now to everyone uh can everybody confirm please if you can view the screen in case you can't please uh, pin shibal screen down Yes, Shibal, we can see your screen. You can see, right? Great. Uh, so I'll just quickly give you a brief introduction. So what product I'll be showing now is the payment gateway. So this essentially will help the NGOs to streamline your collection of payments from multiple sectors and segments. So we all know that this day and age, it's going to be online transaction rather than most of the offline. And it becomes easier for NGOs to connect with people on an online basis and collect funds rather than going in person or meeting through and collecting cash as well. So this is where we would like to come into the segment and help out all the NGOs in this uh, project. So we have tied up with Tech for Good for this special uh, project that we are running now. Uh, I'll just quickly run you guys through the payment gateway and the features that we have already. Uh, I'll just share this screen now. So basically, what we are trying to solve over here is a payment solution that is for the digital age. So Razorpay offers like a full stack solution for anything relates to the online payments. So now, as a business owner, you would want to collect and process uh, disbursement of payments right now in the NGO sector is mainly to collect the payments and uh, streamline and give your customers an easy and efficient way to donate money. So that's where we would like to come in and we have been in the industry for the past eight to nine years and we have been receiving a good feedback from all our customers and through tech for good we have a certain set of NGOs that are working with us and are uh, have availed these offers as well. So one main thing we want to offer the customers is a hassle-free payment experience. So basically, whenever a customer or like a person is trying to make a donation to the NGO, we will give out the same checkout or the experience that they get on an e-com website or any premium websites. So we would want to portray that on for NGOs as well, so that whenever a customer comes to the platform and makes a donation, it would seem very seamless and an efficient manner. So with the payment gateway, the products or the toolkits that we give out are giving the customers the option to make payments on multiple platforms or through multiple methods. Over here, we do provide debit cards, net banking, wallets, EMI options, and even UPI. So based on your customer's uh, requirement or how you want to give your customers the ability to pay the money, you can opt for it and customize based on your particular needs. So all these cards and terminals are available with us. So uh, Access Bank, HDFC, SBI, on any cards that you name, that is Visa, Master, AMX, Rupee, everything is available. So the customers will have a seamless flow based on whatever methods they have available with them to donate the money. Now, another particular thing what I want to mention over here is the whole uh, payments customization. So based on the needs of the NGO, we can customize the method that the customer can pay through or make a donation. So a common product that is being used by NGOs in the system is mainly the subscription. So subscriptions is something which works in the format of on the lines, maybe like Netflix or Hotstar, whoever. Like you can see most of the customers who have a monthly recurring payment, right? Now, in terms of NGO, so we have this, I believe you guys are aware of Greenpeace. Greenpeace is one of the main user of in the NGO platform for subscriptions. So they run all their donations on a monthly basis where they collect recurring uh, subscriptions, so recurring payments from their uh, donators and uh, they collect on the basis of subscription as well. The other product which most of the NGOs use are the payment links. So how payment links would be beneficial for an NGO is let's say now if you have a donor who wants to send money and it's not a recurring donor, he's not going to pay the amount on every month or any recurring amount. You can easily send him a payment link even though if he's not on your website, right? Let's say this customer, particular customer wants to donate a particular amount. You will be able to send them a payment link showing the amount that you have to maybe the person has to donate 
and they'll be able to again pay using any of the methods either a debit card upi and everything so once you send out a payment link they will be moved to a checkout with all the options available and they can directly make the donation or uh, any doubts up until now guys okay uh, so i'll just quickly move on to the next uh, slide if do feel free to drop any uh, questions or if you have any questions do feel free to stop me and uh, ask if, if you have any questions also you can post the questions on the chat as well so at the after end of this uh, session we will be taking in those questions as well now coming to the point of why razor pay why should you or why an ngo should be using a razor pay one thing is the success rate of our platform so we do have a higher success rate than most of the players in the market so that is one uh, main factor which pertains to the customer's experience so the customer will be having a smooth experience based on the success rate if the success rate is on the lower end the payments won't be going through hence we have multiple terminals at our back end it's not one particular bank we have tied up with we have tied up with all the banks across india so let's say even if icici is facing a downtime we automatically shift the terminals to multiple other banks who has a faster success rate so that the customers experience isn't broken that is one factor another factor is a easy setup so we offer a paperless kyc on the dashboard itself so once you sign up to the razor pay system and you you can directly complete the kyc in the system by uploading few pictures in the details of the kyc another factor is the 24/7 support so whenever you are using our uh, setup right you will be having a 24/7 support ch uh, chat option and even a write to us option in the dashboard itself so our back end team if you have any queries or any issues with the payment gateway or even a technical uh, technical need if you have like basically trying to integrate or any glitch or you want to check out the payment or if you need any data related to your payments you will be able to reach out to our support and our team will be helping you out with the same and of course the simple pricing model so the pricing we have tied up with tech for good and we are offering a set of special pricing only for tech for good customers so in our platform usually the customers will be coming in on a standard plan and after transacting they move on to an enterprise category but with this particular tie up we have uh, given the tech for good folks whoever is coming through tech for good we are giving them a special pricing which is in the enterprise category automatically even without transacting or having a data with razor pay now i'll just move on to the next slide now again uh, now this basically comes to the back end part of having the razor pay uh, apis and having the razor pay payment gateway so you might be aware that razor pay completely runs on api as well so there is very less manual intervention needed to run the payment gateway so if your website is linked to the payment gateway right you it's very easy for the developers first of all to have the whole api set up and run the whole program at the back end and we also provide additional support to your developers so in case they have any issues or any problems right the support option will help you with the technical aspect as well you can even schedule a call with our tech team and take guidance from our team to help with your whole uh, technical aspect of integrating the api and it's a fairly simple system as well so we do provide all the documentation related for integration as well up front and we have a portal called razorpay.com forward slash docs where you can visit that particular site and you will be able to get any integration or back end documents uh, that you require for integrating the payment gateway uh any doubts up until now Okay, uh, I'll just move on to the next slide then. So product walkthrough. So over here now, like I mentioned, we are ultimately aiming for the seamless experience of the customer. So when we say that, we do provide a option of uh, having a seamless standard checkout, wherein even the website never gets redirected from a bank page to another page. So if you Take any other uh, payment method, right? Let's say if you are making a payment, 
at the end of the checkout once you choose an option it redirects you to a whole different page or a banking segment and th that's where you'll have to fill up all the details but in razorpay we tend to keep the whole process in your website itself without any redirection so what happens is the benefits of ha having this is lesser failure rate and the smoothness of the experience so these two are the major factors what customers look for while making a payment so these two are provided by us on a standard plan itself so even though we do provide two type of checkouts that is a standard checkout and a custom checkout so even in the standard checkout we provide this experience where there is no redirect and even the 3d secure handle is within the pop up itself that is a main factor of not getting redirected to another bank page and having a better success rate as well as a seamless flow for the customers now let's see this is another scenario uh, hi shibhan sorry to um, cut uh, cut you uh, so i just wanted to ask if there were any questions before we moved on um, if there are any questions that you would like to ask shibhan so far uh, you could unmute yourself and ask your questions uh, shibhan can understand hindi but uh, it would be comfortable for the him to answer back in english but if if you do have questions in hindi don't um, feel free to you know drop your questions in uh, the tech for good team will try and address it along with shibhan's help yes i uh, feel free to ask any question guys i can do i think none from anybody yet shibhan i think we can proceed yeah let's just move on uh, so another factor of the check out again is about saving cards so the details let's say now if you have any customers who are uh, loyal to your uh, ngo and they do like to use the uh, your website often and make payments or make donations right let's say the first time the customer comes in and uh, makes a payment through card we save the card details on behalf of the customer and this card details won't be portrayed to the ngos but it'll be saved in our portal so the next time the customer comes to the checkout again right he need not add all the card details it'll already be saved for him and it becomes another step easier for him so there is a one step less count over there so that his checkout is a bit more seamless and we often ask them only to enter the cvv and the 3d secure pin and the payment will be done so those are another additional factors to the whole customer experience and the seamless flow so the main thing over here you will be saving is the time and the effort and the result in higher success rates as well i'll just move on to the next slide so this slide again explains how the 3d secure pin would be designed and how we can handle the whole pin so even when the payment is happening on 3d secure right whenever the otp is generated we do have an auto fill for otp the customer need not even fill the otp manually where we have our android sdk which we use to fetch the data and actually portray the otp for them so that they can just use the otp and it will be applied because this again ensures the successfulness of the particular transaction most of the clients being in this industry i do understand at the end point of the transaction they do tend to fail because of the 3d secure pin when because even a single digit in the pin is wrong means the transaction wouldn't go through so hence we want to avoid all that hassle and have the otp generated and fetch for them on their behalf and they can just use the otp so this again ensures a secure and successful transaction coming to the dashboard part of the whole payment gateway so we provide you a dashboard for you to run the whole operation of the payment gateway now in the dashboard you will be having multiple options like transactions settlements payment links to generate payment link subscription to monitor your subscription and reports to get based on your transactions so the main thing is the whole system works on a lifetime basis so every the second the customer tries to make a payment not even complete the payment make a payment we start fetching data from that initial point itself so from there we fetch all the data up until the customer completes the whole payment and we give you a complete data 
whether if it's captured whether if it's failed and if it's failed why it has failed and what time was the payment made so this again helps you understand your customer base a bit more deeply and maybe customize or provide solution based on that requirements so again i'll take an example of an ngo greenpeace used to be having most of their transactions through debit cards and credit cards the issue over here was they were facing a lot of error because the customers were not able to complete the payments at the end of it within the otp being generated and uh, they were using manual instead of having the automated fetch so the transaction used to fail they used to have up to 30% of failure rate on their whole transactions per day but then they saw that it was not because of the payment gateway or their fault it was the trend from their customers so they slowly shifted their most of the payments through upi and the success rate increased again so the data that we provide also helps you to understand your customers as well as their needs and as well as their pattern on how they make the payments another point over here is we give you the transparency of each and every transaction that happens in your portal so every single payment is captured every single try is captured and we'll also capture the details of the we only capture the phone number and the email address of the particular client we do not have the uh, option to collect any other data because of rbi guidelines and provide it to you but we do provide the data of their email address and a phone number and rest of the data will be portrayed to you but the credentials or the end bank account won't be shown to you because of the restrictions that we have hence you will be able to understand a deeper manner how the transactions do happen now coming to the dashboard again like i mentioned the subscription and the payment links right the payment links and subscriptions can be generated from the dashboard itself we even provide a epos system where you can download an app give it to your runners who are on the field or who are trying to get the donations in right you can give them access to the uh, app and they will be able to generate links from their end and you will be able to monitor it on the dashboard as well so that is another additional benefit of the dashboard and coming to the reports part so on the reports front again we give you the option of detailed analytics of each and every payments you can generate a report of all the payment links that you have generated or what are your transaction you can see your trends of your transactions as well uh any questions up until now guys okay i'll move on so these are few of our customers who are in the market who has been using our uh, payment gateway since we have started razorpay zeroda and quicker are one of the main brand names in the industry who have like a huge transaction rate on a daily basis so they are very happy with our products coming to quicker and zeroda they do transact up to 7 to 8 cr on a daily basis so the success rate and the terms that we have provided for them they are very happy with the uh efforts and the seamless flow that do get hence uh, these are few of the testimonials uh coming to the pricing that we offer for tech for good uh so over here i would like to bifurcate so the standard plan that razorpay offers is 2% on any domestic transaction and 3% on any international transaction now coming to the right hand side over here is the commercials that we are going to offer for you guys uh partnering with tech for good so as you can see there's a drastic difference between each and every mode that we have mentioned over here so this will allow you to transact on an enterprise level even though you haven't had any history with razer pay or any transaction limit so we have given this offer to each and every one of you who is coming through tech for good for the payment gateway so this pricing will be availed as soon as you are coming through tech for good and we when you pass on the lead we apply this particular pricing for you as well or uh, these are again few of the clients that we work with in the industry and who has given us a good feedback about our job product and that's about it guys we look forward to working with you so we can move on to the question and section so if you have any questions up until now do feel free to ask me or you can drop it in the chat as well if you feel comfortable about it
uh, any questions up until now? Okay, I'll just see a couple of questions in the chat if there are any. Uh, Shibal, you have a question on the chat box. Okay. Uh, so is this offer applicable for existing NGO customers? Uh, I would like to reiterate. So are you an existing NGO customer in Razorpay? If that's the case, if you're tying up with uh, Tech for Good, we can avail that. If we get a confirmation, then yeah, we can avail that pricing for you as well. No issues. That's great. Uh, yeah, no other questions on the chat box, but in case you have more questions, please unmute yourself and uh, you can ask them. Yes, feel free. Uh, any questions, guys, if you have any questions? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello, yeah, man, we tell you. Uh, I was wondering, uh, you know, how would we, uh, could, so suppose we have a uh, website for our uh, organization, uh, okay. where would this sort of shop, do we need to integrate? Like um, sort of sorry thing, to cut you off, Manvi, your voice is kind of muffled. I'm not able to catch what you are explaining. Can you hear me now? Yes, perfect. Hello? Yes, yes, you're on. Hello? Hello? Yes, you're on. Hello? Hello, Mani, uh, you're on. Okay. Uh, Mani, you were audible. Uh, in case yeah. you have a question, you can um, go ahead. Meanwhile, uh, uh, Shibin, you have another question. Uh, also, how does Razorpay accept uh, FCY payments by Nalanda? So, uh, FCY, uh, do you mean uh, FCRA, FC, uh, foreign currency settlements, yeah, right? I think they mean foreign currency. Yeah. Um, so yeah. For, foreign, for foreign currency, we do provide the option. So, as long as if you have an FCRA certificate, we are completely fine with it. We can enable an international transaction for you guys. And uh, we do have a risk check involved where you will have to complete a few questionnaires that the bank and the risk team, risk team ask based on the international transaction. They want to get an idea of how the transactions are going to be. Post that your international will be activated and they'll also ask you to submit the FCRA certificate. Uh, no, it's not available only through PayPal. So we have tied up with PayPal so that any PayPal customer can also make the payment, but we do support international cards. So any international card is also su uh, supported. Uh, Manvi, uh, answering your question that if you can uh, in integrate Razorpay into your website or if it's a separate web page, uh, you can integrate it to your website and have the payment gateway embedded in your website and make the checkout experience seamless for your customers. In case if you do want a separate web page, we do have options called uh, web pages or smart pages where you can just create a web page and collect uh, donations based on different events. Let's say now if a Diwali is coming up, you don't want to create a whole different page just for that particular event. We do provide templates. You can make the edits and collect documents, uh, donations as well. So both are available. They, uh, so initially i would recommend you to go through the website integration so that the customers have a good feeling but uh, we do provide the smart pages option as well you're welcome uh, any other questions guys yeah i have a question this is anish, hi, anish. Uh, yeah hi so we're currently using uh, easy pay and okay. that's because our banking relationship is with icici and all of that right Okay, okay. Uh, we would like to explore the option of uh, integrating Razorpay, but you know our experience of uh, integrating it on the website or payment gateways on the website has not been very good okay. uh, from the service provider perspective. So if okay. I want uh, a, a seamless replacement, for example, yep. uh, of what we have currently, I don't have the IT bandwidth uh, to be able to do it. 
completely okay. on our own. You know, okay. the DIY model is something which is very well appreciated, but yeah. there might be others like us who do not have it. True. The first, True. Right. True. Uh, so, I yeah. I'd like to know uh, about that A and B. Uh, I've recently got to know from a banking relationship that they offer razor pay as well. Now, what's the yeah. difference between taking it from a distributor like ICICI Bank versus taking it direct from you versus via this platform? Yes. Uh, so I'll help you out. So on the point A, I would like to touch base upon. So the, we do provide technical support for your integration, but we won't be able to integrate the whole platform for you. So you would ideally require. So even if you don't have a tech team in house, you can outsource the same. But if there are any blockers, we can do it for you. But we won't be integrating the payment gateway for your uh, website. What we have done is we have created our website plugin to be very seamless. So if a developer who knows general coding or general integration, right, a developer will be able to have the payment gateway integrated to your website within two hours because we provide all the API documents, codes, what they require readily available in our integration doc. So all they have to do is copy paste or refer the uh, codes and uh, just integrate it to your website. And since we provide the whole APIs as well, it would be easier rather than them creating the APIs. We provide the APIs for the developers, so they just have to embed it or enable. That's point A. Coming to point B, uh, the banking relation we do have with multiple banks, right? That again comes at a point of referral from particular banks. So let's say now ICICI refers you to raise a pay. You would be primary terminal of ICICI your most of the transaction would be going through ICICI itself because they are the referred bank. But when you come through directly to raise pay or like this partnership through uh, tech for good, we'll be providing you the whole product suit. That is all the terminals across India, all the banks, and you will be able to uh, transact on an easier manner and have a get, get a better success rate. So even if ICICI is facing a downtime, we wouldn't uh, make. We would ensure that your customers still will be able to make a checkout. Now, one sec. This is a little confusing. Just for clarification, I'd like to replay this out to you. Yeah. <clears throat> what I've understood. Yeah. The banking relationship I have is at the back end. So, yeah. irrespective of uh, who is paying through what bank interface, I will get my money in my bank account. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. So my bank account, which bank it is, is irrelevant to the entire experience. Exactly. Right? Yeah, that is fine. In this case, yeah, uh, one of your referral partners yeah. has just said that, hey, you know, uh, you have a banking relationship with us. Why don't you go to the other pay also, right? Exactly. So why should the infrastructure of the referral partner be a bottleneck? to getting the full experience from Razorpay? Uh, so uh, I would again like to reiterate the whole point. So why it is bottleneck is because we have tied up with multiple banks, right? Banks do provide their own payment gateway as well. The main portion why they have tied up with Razorpay is because of the success rate that they can achieve from us. The main point or over here is, I'll give you a simple example. So ICICI is referring you. So it doesn't matter if you have an ICICI bank account that you will only get payments from ICICI customers. So we'll enable everyone or everyone to make the payment. It comes to the point of successness of the payment. So if you are an ICICI bank referral client, right, we would run most of your transaction through ICICI terminal itself because we partner with HDFC access and we have a referral program for all these banks as well. And another benefit of a banking referral is the pricing factor and the terminal that they provide for net banking. So net banking for each and every client, if you are a banking referral, uh, referral uh, client, right, you will be getting net banking specifically for that particular bank's terminal. So that is where the bank also gains a lot of money and they get to use our, they get to use our platform and give their customers a better experience. That's where that comes from. But coming to this NGO platform segment, right? Since we have tied up with tech for good for a special pricing is where main benefit for you guys to come through tech for good rather than a banking would be. 
because you would be placed under an enterprise client the moment you come through tech for good so that's the main difference that's very useful thank you i do have some questions but maybe i've dropped my email id maybe sure. if you or someone can get in touch with me i can clarify some other things you can do that you yeah, you can drop your email address i think akila will coordinate for that and we'll provide all the details at your yeah appreciate it thank you uh any other questions guys uh, hi shibin uh this is shaila here from yoga hi and, shibin uh, yeah so um, my question is i mean from the ngo perspective uh yes. we need to have a certain number of compliances like for an indian donor uh, it is imp- i mean important that the pan number is also captured so mm-hmm. in case uh, we put the razor pay option on our uh, website then how does this happen and even for any uh, fcra donation uh, you know we need the passport details so exactly. i mean how does this happen yes uh, so how that would work is uh, we at razor pay have certain restriction on uh, the data that we can collect from a, per- a per- particular customer because of the rbi guideline so we will we can only fetch the data of their uh, email address and phone number and portrait you rest of the details you will have to build in your website and continue to the checkout so most of the ngos who work with razor pay are currently on this model where in before coming to the checkout they actually fetch all the data that is required from the donor and then proceed to the checkout right right yeah okay and also we had certain other questions because i think uh, uh, we were in the process of exploring that hope run and uh, we did get some number which was generated by razor pay uh, for us okay. but we did not complete the whole process so i just okay. also had certain you know i mean we can uh, take that uh, offline i mean not within yeah, the no problem no so you yeah? uh, so i you. mean I I think if it would help if we can have some contact number uh, of the razor pay team or someone whom we can touch base with in case we want to explore further Sure sure I think Akila will be sharing across the details of the POC so she will be sharing across my details as well so you can get in touch with me and drop me Sure right thanks a yeah, lot so there's, there's a link that's being sent on the chat box yeah. just use the link to get connected to us and we'll take this forward for you right thank you so much no problem Any other questions, guys? If there are no questions, then Shibil will. Ah, uh, I oh, yeah. Shibil, I yeah. I had I had two follow-up questions. So, uh, like you rightly pointed out, and thank you, ma'am, for bringing the point about the pan card and the FCRA. So, you Shibil, you mentioned that we'll have to. have a interface where uh, all of this is collected before they really come into the actual payment part that is happening through your uh, api right exactly yeah yeah so now in your experience yeah uh, how much time would it take for a developer to be able to you know get the specs from us and what we need and be able to put it up uh, uh, so- That, is that like a two day job is that like a so, like you mentioned your core thing is two hours but the rest of it yeah so for a developer's perspective to have the whole ngo website done so like with my experience of working with ngos i have known ngos like build their whole website within a span of 3 days as well that is from no no no, no, no. Shibu, Shibu, no. Yeah. I, i'm saying the website exists i'm talking only Shibu. about the payment gateway part where i need to have these additional data points collected before the payment can be collected yeah correct that just at one page yeah that can be done within a day anish uh, based on the team that you're giving it to like most of the developers will be able to do it for you within a day right so the follow up question is this that uh, in your experience again if we yeah. don't have these resources with us readily available due to whatever reason yeah uh, is it okay to give it to like a freelancer and get it done or is there a risk involved 
that's completely fine because most of the ngos do do that they do opt for a freelancer rather than a corporate uh, type of entity for them to complete the payments because corporate entity again goes down with a lot of tat and the tat gets extended things like that so it would be best if you have like a good developer in hand a freelancer who knows the whole system on integration and apis if they have a good understanding of it a freelancer will be able to do the whole system for you right shibal and when uh, you might be able to provide us two three names based on uh, on the freelancer front i don't have any personal connects but yeah in the, i can do couple of research and we can get you connected awesome. maybe i can personally give you a couple of connects maybe. awesome thank you so much no uh before we proceed uh, quickly shibal just wanted to make an announcement anybody who wants to get in touch with the razor pay team there is a link that's being popped in the chat box please connect it and those who have already shown interest shobha nalanda uh, and uh, shaila anish uh, you can drop in your requests Ra- nalanda we've just received your request so if anyone else would like to get connected and want to have further conversations or implement it for your organization please use the link the setup link which is available on the chat box thank you uh, shibil over to you thank you akla Uh, so like, rightfully, like Akhil mentioned, you can reach out to that link, and the team will be coordinating on your behalf and reaching out to us, and uh, we can provide you a bit more data. We'll also be assigning a particular SPOC for you guys, who will be running the whole project, and I'll be supervising the same. And uh, the particular SPOC will ha- help you throughout the whole process, even getting onboarded and the KYC if there is any blocker. Everything will be sorted out. uh i had one more suggestion which might be useful for all of us here yeah uh especially those of us who are at the early stage or whatever yeah uh if your team could put together a checklist based on your experience of other ngos that you know if you have india this requirement you'll need pan card or you'll need for fcra you'll need this you'll need that based on your existing customers you might be having some sort of a checklist to guide new people right so i think uh, if something like that you could share with whoever connects with you that would be awesome uh so anish we have made this whole process simpler for ngo so as soon as you sign up to raisebay.com and provide your details right when you move on to the next step when you choose ngo we ask for the kyc details based on the requirements of an ngo so you will be from the potential donors Uh, no, no, no. This is for the NGOs that are signing up to raise. I'm talking. No, I'm saying tomorrow you want to donate uh, one lakh to me, and I hope that day comes. Yeah. Uh, you know, at that point in time, you are telling me that you have to take ABC from Shibil if he's an Indian citizen, and the amount is more than ten thousand. Then you need to collect pan card, for example. Yeah, yeah. So is that also there? uh no so what we do is so raise pay at the end is a payment gateway platform so we come at the right at the end of the customer's experience where the api is sent for the amount so what data we receive from your website is the amount that you have shared across and we provide the facility to fetch that amount so anything prior to that won't be fetched by raise pay Okay. Uh, maybe I haven't been able to explain my question appropriately. Maybe when we connect separately and talk about. It. Sure, no sure. problem. Sure. Uh, Shibal, just a quick announcement before we go ahead. So sorry. Uh, no just wanted to check the following names that I'm about to call out. Can you please confirm the names of the organizations you're from? If you can drop it in the chat box, it'd be really helpful. Yashi Agarwal, Samir Khan, and Pinky Varma. So, if you guys can please drop in uh, the name of your organizations in the chat box, it would be really helpful for us. Thank you so much. Yeah, Shibal, I'm done. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, so, guys, again, I'm open for any other questions. Feel free to ask me. Uh, feel free to drop your questions on the chat box as well. I'll be glad to help out over there. Yeah, I think you can continue, Shubhil. Um, I'll let you know if there are any questions that pop up. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh, so we'll just move on to the part of demo of the payment gateway uh, dashboard. I'll just give you a quick brief of how the dashboard would look like and uh, how the whole interface is, so that you guys are aware on the platform as well.
uh, let me just load up and I'll just share my screen across. Thomas. Please do let me know. I'm just sharing my screen now. Do let me know if it's real. Uh, are you able to view my screen? Yes, Chetan. Oh, okay. Uh, so again, uh, like I showed on the PPT, this is going to be your interface. This is going to be your dashboard. So all the processes related to your payments can be done on this particular dashboard itself. So when you join, so I've taken over here like an initial dashboard on the, how experience would be when you start across. So first main pointer to note is the KYC that has to be completed. So we'll give you a link over here. If you just click on this particular link, it'll redirect you to your particular KYC. Again, you can mention your contact info, business info, and if you just put NGO, like I mentioned, right, business category, again, you can choose multiple non, non for profit, subcategory, education, business description. This again, you have to give a general description about what the NGO is. And uh, again, average order value, what is going to be your ticket size, or what is the basic donation that you're going to get. And we also give you an option to use without a website or an app, also with the website without the website what it essentially means is let's say now your website is getting built or it's yet in the initial stages but you still want to collect uh, payments right you can choose without the website and you will be able to send across payment links to collect the payments as well now business details has to be provided with all the pan card business name else bank account details where you would like to get your settlements and you'll have to upload all the details that you require, that is the Aadhaar card and the business registration proof, company plan, etc. Once that is done, the dashboard would be moving to the live mode. As you can see over here, we do provide test mode at the initial stage itself. So your developers can have the access to the APIs and test out the whole platform. Once you move to the live mode is when you'll be able to actually capture the payments. Sorry, I'll just move back. Yeah. Now, to the second point over here, you will be able to, so this is your home screen right over here. You will be able to get all the data related to your payments in this page over here. Your current balance, that is all the payments that you have taken until your settlement time. Your settlement time would be T plus two. So until that time, you can see what is your current balance available over here that is yet to get settled. And your settlement schedule will also be shown over here. And you can get all the settlement uh, details as well in this particular dashboard. Okay. Coming to the transaction part, which I had mentioned on the PPT. So this is how the output would look like. So you can see all your payment IDs that are being generated. So each time a customer checks out a payment ID would be created regardless if the payment is failed or captured. So as soon as the customer tries to make the payment, right, a payment ID would be generated and we start fetching the data. So these are the two data that I told that we can fetch and portray to you. That is the email address and the contact details and the amount what the payment is. Also, what time the payment has been created at and the status of the payment. So over here, you can see failed, captured, failed. So based on the particular payments, you will be able to see the details. Now, I'll just give you a quick in-depth uh, review of each and every payment. So if you just click on the payment ID over here, you'll be able to get a detailed data of that particular payment. So if it's a, a failed payment, you can see what the error was. Payment processing canceled by user. So the payment, when the payment was supposed to be authenticated by the user, right? It got canceled at the user's end. So we do provide why the payment has been failed. And even if it's a payment gateway error, we'll show over here as a payment gateway error so that you can get it checked with our backend team and get that rectified as well. Okay. And refunds are also possible, but this again doesn't involve for NGO because it's again a donation. So there won't be any refund cases. 
but in case you do have any rare case that you want to make a refund to that's also possible so i'll just show you how that would work so let's take a captured payment you have the option of refund to issue since this payment was captured right you can issue a refund and uh, you will get to know what the method of payment was it since it was upi over here issue a refund you can even refund partial amounts as well so partial amount essentially means that let's say if a customer pays 100 rupees and they want a refund of 50 that is also possible <coughs> excuse me uh so that is on the refund front uh any questions up until now guys after seeing the dashboard if you have any questions just feel free to ask me okay uh let's move on so i'll just quickly show you how to create a payment link that is to collect the payments through sending links so over here if you go to payment links on the top right hand side you can see create a payment link you click on that again you have two options standard payment link which allows the user to pay through any modes that is debit card credit card etc or a upi payment link where the customer can directly click on it and pay through upi so this again depends on the customers that you do most of the ngos go for a standard payment link because that gives their customers an option to pay through all the modes so even if they don't have a upi working or they have a debit card that they want to pay through that will be Done through a standard payment link. So I'll just show you how to create a payment link. You can just mention an amount, description. Maybe you can put donation, customer details. So these are the two fields that you require where the link would be sent to. So for testing purposes, I'll just mention email address and phone number. A reference ID again. I'll just put as test. you can even have a expiry on the link wherein like uh, if you want that link to be expired and they don't again this is not for ngos but if there is any use case for you you can avail it you can have an expiry to that particular uh, link and uh, the customer after a point that you have fixed right won't be able to pay okay and you can create a payment link and that's it now a uh, sms and an email has been sent to that particular uh, email address and a phone number now the customer can make a payment from there okay now the other portion what uh, manvi was asking related to the payment pages right if they have to integrate to a particular website or can you use web pages so we do provide the option for you to use a web page or a payment page without you creating that web page so we have uh, like i will take again the example of uh, greenpeace so greenpeace runs or uh, certain campaigns on diwali on any occasions basically on any holidays and they create payment pages so this payment pages again allows them to have the option of collecting donation for that specific uh, occasion and have like a specific amount mentioned for this occasion as well so i'll just so we do have made it easier for ngos we all already have a donation platform so you can just use a template and make your edits based on that so you can mention what is the amount what is the donation that you're going to fetch and you can customize this whole left hand side field based on your campaign and what you're running and insert your logos your drive what is that particular campaign for and mention the details and collect the payments okay and this particular thing can be fetched after once you create this particular web page right you can either portray it as a link on your website or you can create a redirection for this or you can even send out a mass emailer campaign with the link attached so whenever they click on the link it would redirect them to this particular page and they will be able to see what the cause is about what is the donation for and what is the amount and they can just continue with the checkout okay again uh i'll show you quickly how to generate the reports for these payments as well so you can generate report based on the convenience that you need so we do have settlement reports payment reports combined reports that is your settlements and transactions combined together refund reports order reports so 
based on your need you will be able to generate these reports and give it to your ca or your team to make their reconciliation easier and filing of taxes easier as well okay then for your basic needs of your account you can go to my account and you will be able to see all the details related to your account over here what is your registered uh, display name that is your company name contact this is your registered email address your phone number and your business type everything will be portrayed over here as well and uh, you can even give access to multiple team members over here so let's say now if you want another few members of your team to use the whole system and you want to give the access to the dashboard you can invite the new member over here you can just give an email address and they'll get an invite on their particular email they can click on it and they'll have an access okay uh, so that's about it on the payment gateway dashboard uh, also i'll just quickly point out the support channel also over here so this is the support symbol if you click on it you have multiple options over here you have a chat with us options where they'll chat our support team will chat with you on a live time basis and solve your problems or if you have like a deeper end problem where you have like a issue going on which needs a in depth review you can go to have a query raise a new request and uh, continue with the format and mention your request as well that is another thing and uh, all the queries will have tickets a ticket ids generated for your tracking purposes so everything would be mapped over here so you can now check all your queries what you have raised with our supports in the dashboard itself okay so that's it from my end on the presentation so if you have any questions feel free to ask me again after this Hi everyone, we've been we're open for questions. Uh, Shail, you have a question? I can see that you raised your hand. Right. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, please unmute yourself, and uh, Shibil will be free to answer them. Uh, and in case you you have low connectivity, um, you can drop in your questions in the chat box. Oh yeah, Anish has a question. Yeah, Shibir, so uh, basically you are saying that all the use cases, one can be donations, one can be like, for example, people who are selling handloom sardis or something, you know, they might have a e-commerce side to the whole piece of collecting donations, etc. right? So exactly. all of those use cases are accounted for in your platform is what you're telling us, right? Exactly, exactly. All right, thank you. Any other questions, guys? Shala, I can see that you've raised your hand. Uh, do you have any questions? Uh, I just wanted to check that uh, what has your experience been, Shibil, on the auditor's uh, you know, acceptance of this platform for NGOs? Uh, because, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so NGOs have given us a very positive feedback based on their experience. So most of the main players in the industry like Amnesty India, Greenpeace, Tech for Good, all of them have tied up with us for their transactions to go through. Hence, we do have a good rep in the industry with NGOs and uh, we have been providing solutions for them since the beginning of Razorpay. So we have a pretty good uh, understanding with NGOs and the customer feedback we have received from all these clients that they have been, their customers have, do feel uh, ease of payment when they make a donation through the checkout rather than having to go through a bank transfer or send it through a particular Google Pay number, things like that. So it seems a bit more professional and the customers also feel the legitimacy of the uh, NGO as well. Okay, right. Thanks, Shubham. No problem. Uh, any other questions? Shibil, there's a question by Lavanya, who, which I am also interested in. I want to know what the question means. Google Analytics 
Uh, uh, yeah, could you just explain on how uh, Lavanya? Could you just explain what exactly do you mean by Google Analytics and uh, what are you trying to get it incorporated with? I think I'll take that, Shibal. Lavanya, I think you mean that Analytics was the session that was done last time, and you would like to like that to be set up. You would have received an email from us that the mentorship program for that will start soon. This is correct, yeah. This is separate. Okay. Uh, Shibil and his team will take care of Razor Pay, which if you, I think you've already requested for the same. So we will connect you with Shibil, and Google Analytics will be a separate program which you will be part of the mentorship that's happening. Does that clarify? All right. Thanks, Lavanya. Yeah. Thanks. So, folks, any other questions? Um, if there are no other questions, I think we come to the end of the session today. Um, thank you so much, Shibil, for being forthcoming of helping us and hosting this uh, the Razor Pay workshop for all our partner nonprofits. Uh, just a quick announcement for our uh, nonprofit participants: in case you would like to have or implement Razor Pay for your organization, avail the special textbook discount that's also offered. Please uh, use the link that's available to you in the chat box. I'm just dropping it to you once again. So if you would like to get connected to the team, available at the discount, you can uh, use this link that we've dropped just now. Um, and we will connect you to Shibal and his team to help you with the entire uh, setup and implementation. Uh, thank you so much again, Shibal. Thank you so much. Thank everybody. you. Thank you.